Hey guys, it's Painless and Anal. Today, this is going to be a very different video, obviously. You can tell already, we are outside instead of inside my room. One, because there is an AC outside my window. It is very loud. It makes the quality of my videos kind of terrible. And I don't have the equipment right now to fix that. And I hope you guys would be okay with that until I can fix it. The worst things outside is just, you know, birds, bugs, a little bit of wind, which you can probably hear right now. Um, but I'm also different because this is going to be my vegetarian, vegan side of my account. I'm also going to be keeping up with my beautician because I am going to school to be a cosmetologist. So I would like to post videos on that as well. But I'd also like to talk to you guys. I want to be a part of this movement because there, there are a lot of um, misleading things about vegetarians and vegans right now. I don't want to sound terrible or negative, but there are a lot of activists out there right now that are making this lifestyle not seem fitting, not seem healthy, anything like that. And it's um, kind of bothering me, but I also want to be a part of the movement because I want to meet other vegetarians and vegans, you know, all come together, just talk about things, have a good time, you know, share experiences, share anything really that would be awesome you know be a part of the great family because that's what we are we're a really big family i'm going to put a few disclaimers at the beginning of this video because i know i'm going to be asked multiple multiple times honestly because of the time i've been a vegetarian slash vegan i want to tell you guys that i am not 100 percent sure on anything i don't want you guys to quote me and stuff unless i am quoting and showing you guys proof from things and i do not want to be accused of and I know that's going to be a big thing and then people are going to be calling me a hypocrite because of the way my lifestyle is compared to theirs. So other than that, I have a Q&A that I have written up and there are very general topics that I think should be covered in, you know, an introductory uh, video. So the first question is, what type of vegan are you? I am not vegan, actually. I am lacto-ovo vegetarian, which means I eat dairy products like cheese, eggs, yogurt. Um, I don't eat any meat. Some people consider fish meat. I don't, I've never liked fish anyway. So I think that kind of ties into that. My next question is, what made you go vegan? I went vegan because about two and a half years ago, I felt very, unsatisfied with my lifestyle. I was a bigger person back then, which if I can edit in the picture of um, I don't think I was that terribly unhealthy, but I feel like I kind of did better for myself, you know, and it was something, you know, I was self-conscious about. I didn't like the way I felt, you know, stuff like that. I wanted to just get better. Um, I remember I was watching videos and looking up stuff because I heard of raw vegan, I've heard of vegan lifestyles, I've heard of vegetarian lifestyles, and Personally, I don't like meat. No matter how you season it, no matter how you cook it, I just, I don't like it a whole lot. So I figured this would be the perfect lifestyle for me. How long have I been a vegetarian? Well, I've been a vegetarian for about the past two and a half years of my life. I changed it about a few months before I graduated high school. So yeah, I am 20. Um, when I graduated, I really didn't feel my best you know I wanted to get that fresh start you know become something new because I was finally you know over with that part of my life and I figured this would be a great way to make me feel better to get me started in life there were certain things that I tried I tried first the raw vegan lifestyle and that was like terrible for my body that was a shock for me because my body was not used to that I did not lean into it I just cut everything cold turkey and um that I was found out was not good for my body and um, but anyways I did feel like I wasn't getting enough calories I was very um, I felt like I was starving all the time so I changed my lifestyle because probably I wasn't eating enough because my family is actually very against me being vegetarian being vegan any of that lifestyle they keep they still to this day keep pressuring me to eat meat and proteins and stuff like that which I know they're just scared but I like I said I tell them all the time I haven't died yet I think I'm doing good. And I hope someday that they, you know, come to accept that and come to actually try some of the things with me because I feel like my lifestyle isn't that bad. Um, do I use vegan products? Okay. I am more plant-based than I am all around vegan products. I mean, you can tell because I am lacto-ovo. 
I honestly I do not want to use products that were harmed on animals I really don't but I honestly don't know which ones test on animals um, my makeup honestly I don't know what's from what I have a lot of off-brand things that I'm not a hundred percent sure if they test which is really scares me really worries me um, I would like to slowly transition from that to like Urban Decay stuff. I think Too Faced does that. I know MAC tests and that's why I will never buy MAC to be honest. Too, I really don't like their products. Is do I use supplements? And I do not. I used to. Um, if anything, I take this liquid B12. I'll probably link that down below what it is because I forgot to bring it with me outside and I'm not about to run inside and grab it real quick. But I use that and to help metabolism, your hair, skin, stuff like that, just in case. And that's really the only supplement I use. I used to take a lot of protein, um, shakes, bars, stuff like that, but I feel like they still weren't doing anything for my body. I feel like they were making me gain weight instead of get lean. Um, I've done, done diet pills, which I know were bad, because diet pills, you gain the weight right back on. I promise you that. Do not waste your money or time on diet pills, whether you've been told what it does not work. <laughs> am I active? Yes, I am very active and I feel like this is going to sound very disorder promoting, but to me, this makes me feel the best. I work out six days a week. Sundays are my break days. I work out morning and night. Sometimes I do other random workouts when I'm bored, which also sounds terrible, but it's just, I would rather be working out than just sitting on my butt doing nothing. And I feel like it helps my body a lot. I've lost a lot of weight, to be honest, doing this, and I've been doing this. I've had different workouts, different diet plans. I promise, like, the past few months, I found out that this one works best for me. I'll also go into another video sometime talking about my routines of working out. I'll tell you about my daily intakes and stuff like that in a little bit, but I will also go over what diets and stuff I eat. So, my lifestyle is a little bit different than the ordinary vegetarian and vegan. Daily intakes. What is my daily intake? I want to say it can range from anything. I don't think I eat enough calories. I try to hit 2,000, maybe a little bit more than 2,000 a day because I was always told that that's not normal, but I know on a vegan, vegetarian lifestyle, you're supposed to um, do 2,100 or above or something like that. Um, the only thing I do not recommend is never go below 1,500. That is really bad for your body. You'll get a lot of uh, metabolic damage. I feel like you shouldn't do that because, like I said, starvation just makes you gain back your weight, honestly. Are you a healthy vegetarian or do you eat junk food? Um, I think I'm a mix of both. I eat chocolate. I eat dark chocolate, mainly dark chocolate. I eat a lot of junk foods, but that's only when I'm rewarding myself. They're like, you know, just happy meals to me I consider them just you know have a break from my strict diet I normally eat pastas salads fruits all kinds of veggies um, I like smoothies I do I like uh, power energizer drinks you know not like ones that you buy like ones that you literally like make in a blender and stuff like that um, I don't have a juicer or I would be making a lot of juice because I follow a girl that has very good juicing recipes that I would like to try someday. How would you describe your body type? I feel like this question was going to be asked eventually or sooner than later. Um, it's kind of not really a tough question now, but it was back then because I wasn't as confident with my body at all, but I have grown to. I wear crop tops in public now when I used to never before. Um, I show people my body more, but not like, you know, sexually or anything like that. I just show them as in how I looked before they knew me, you know, and then now they're like, oh, I want to see your body. How did you do? You know, and they can tell even with my clothes on, but I weigh 133 pounds right now. I think that is good for my height. It is 5'5". Five five. I would like to be less, but I'd also know that I want to be muscly. So I feel like I'm going to gain weight throughout more of my journey. I'm probably going to eat more um, proteins. You know stuff to kind of gain muscle and be strong because I've always like muscly body types like you know for girls more like on me let's put it that way I don't really judge others on what their body is I can show you guys so I'm not afraid of it my trouble area right now is my core that's why I'm showing you that um my arms are fine they're a little bit flabby but that's just because of all the weight I've lost I don't have a thigh gap and that's completely okay with me so aside from that on to my next question um, 
This is gonna be a big one. Am I gonna tie into the drama of other vegans and vegetarians? I feel like a part of me is yes, I will. That sounds bad. But it's not so much I'm gonna be bashing them, I'm gonna be more talking about what they should do, how to handle things better, because me as a person, I am calm. I am a lot more, like I avoid conflict with anyone. I don't like fighting. I don't like problems at all. So, but there are a few people I do disagree with and I'm never probably gonna support, but I will disclose that in a little bit. So I know you guys are probably gonna be wondering, well, who's she talking about? It's kind of obvious right now. I think you guys can tell. Um, before I get into all of that, my one question is that I always get, what are your opinions on meat eaters? My family are meat eaters. I've been a meat eater for a lot of my life. Obviously, the past two years I haven't. I accidentally eat meat here and there, and I really do. I get sick from it. That's the main reason why I don't eat it. I am plant-based. Like I think I've said before, I do not want to feel terrible anymore. That's why I do it. So honestly, I don't like the meat eaters that think it's funny 24-7 to downgrade vegetarians for their lifestyle, downgrade vegans for their lifestyle, raw vegans, because we're just like you. We have our own ways, our own thoughts, you know, own reasons as to why we picked this life. Yes, some of us are picking it for the animals, which I really would like to be vegan someday. I have a hard time um, just giving up certain dairy things and eggs, and I want to find alternatives to that if I possibly can, because I know it sounds terrible, but I can't just straighten up, you know, just forget about what my body really, really wants and just go ahead and do it, you know? Meat eaters that can eat meat, I just feel like there's another thing called superfoods right now, which I will get into a topic later on, which probably will be recent because it seems to be causing an uproar right now in vegetarian and vegan, and I feel like that should be talked about. So back to the whole questions on what vegans, motivators, do I like to watch on YouTube or any social media? Um, honestly, my biggest inspiration is Blogilates. I have followed her since I started this whole different life-changing experience. Um, my biggest thing is that I do not follow her recipes. I have found out that I do not like a lot of them. They kind of taste like crap to me, not gonna lie. Um, other than that, some she does have some good good uh, recipes that are, you know, low calor, low carb, low sodium, low fat, you know, stuff like that. I do try to watch that, which I will get into uh, in another video. What dietary things do I watch for and what do I encourage to eat? I do like my carbs, will not lie. I love carbs. But yeah, her workouts I think are phenomenal. I like being a popster. I like being, you know, part of the bloggy fam. All that lovely stuff. Um, I also support Unnatural Vegan. I think she's very down to earth with what she says. I agree 100% with her opinions and what she talks about. And I love that when she is wrong, she comes out and says it. She doesn't bluff, she doesn't make up any lies, she doesn't get mad. And I feel like that's how my account is gonna be, you know, my vlogs are really gonna be based upon, like, you know, telling the truth, having some research, giving people pointers, helping people, you know, just talking about vegan stuff, which is awesome, you know, like, just getting words out there, you know? There are gonna be certain lifestyles I approve and disapprove, and I'll get into videos like that. So what, and another thing is, what topics would I cover then? Yeah, I would talk, I will show you my workouts routines. I will show you my recipes that I have found and that I would like to find. Um, I will talk about other vegan activists or vegetarian activists that I feel like are awesome, that I feel like are not doing, spreading the right word. I will, I feel like I said, it ties into the whole drama thing. I feel like, I will be considered drama, but I don't want to consider myself a drama queen. <laughs> so other than that is my last question, which is going to sound terrible as already starting this. Um, who would you recommend not to follow? I watch Freely's videos. If you don't know who Freely is, it's Freely the Banana Girl. You can look her up on YouTube. I do not follow her. I do not follow Duran, Duran Ryder, if that's how you pronounce his name. And I do not follow Sorsha at all. I don't like Sorsha's, um, tone in her videos. I don't like how she acts. She makes a lot of weird faces and I feel like she's making it a reason for people not to take vegetarians or vegans serious, honestly. And I've noticed with Freely, she just attacks people to get popular, to spread the word, but she's not doing it in a very mature and right manner, I believe. 
I don't really dislike anyone else that I've found out so far. I have followed, I well, absolutely adore Unnatural Vegan. Um, I adore the Vegan Cheetah. I know he's a total, people call him a drama queen, but what can you do? He just talks about legitimate things. I watch the Get Upset Girls. I like the Vegan Lass. Um, I think there's Light Twins. I watch them on and off. They're okay. Um, there's a few others that I need to research and follow, get to know, and I would like you guys to comment some people that I should check out below because that would be awesome. And I'm hoping this video wasn't too long. I'm hoping this touched bases with certain things. I will definitely cover a lot of things, but I just feel like this was a good start off video. I have a very unique opinions on things I believe that you guys would probably like that you would like me to talk about so if you have any topics that you really want me to talk about please comment below and I will do as much research and I will gather as much as I can to talk about it to make sure that this is going to be a great video and I'm hoping that I can have some other people to follow um, some other people that will like this that I'm doing that will stay with me because like I said I'm keeping it beauty and vlogging which would be kind of awesome to me because I don't think a lot of channels are like that they're strictly like one certain thing I feel like two duos would be pretty cool so keep in touch with me hit subscribe um, I'm gonna link my social media accounts I have fitness ones and I have regular ones which my regular ones are probably gonna be the ones I'm more active on so you can do that if you would like other than that I will talk to you guys later and I'm just thank you guys for joining in on this video right now I appreciate it. it means a lot especially for something that is so involved in my life so great in my life I love you guys this is gonna be awesome to get started and I hope you guys will stay with me